I'm very excited. I'm very excited. That's right. I'm very excited. That was a show up and blow up workout this morning, team. Every three minutes. First three minutes, 65 cal bike. For Jazz, it was 45 cal bike. The next three minutes, max burpees. Then three minutes rest, you do it four times. I did 60, 50, 42, 35. It's like, first two rounds I showed up. I say I'm just fired up to be here today. Pretty cool, pretty damn cool. Woo! Second two rounds I blowed up. Jazz was really consistent. She did the workout properly. God stuff me. I knew if I held 14.50 on the bike, you'd get the 65 cows done in three minutes. So that was kind of comfortable. And then I went really fast on the first round. It was a good workout. It's 187 burpees for me. And 174. Another sweat done. I programmed that one in my head last night when I was in, in bed. <laughs> I do that quite a lot, you know, when I'm lying there in bed, I'm like, what should we do tomorrow? You know, and that's the last thing I think about. And then I was thinking, oh, this one's gonna be bad because three minutes of max burpees, it's gonna be bad. Especially when your legs are a bit pumped off the bike. I honestly believe someone could do 60 around. Then you know you're a savage. Team, it's been crazy recently, you know? Obviously lockdown motivation is like being on a roller coaster. But I've been finding that, yeah, usually, especially this time, like going up to the open and stuff, if we're at the box, we'll be training two, three hours a day and like, but since we're like at home, it's, I find it hard to get motivated. So what we've been doing is every morning coming in and just doing a sweat. And then even if we don't do anything later in the day, at least we've done, you know, that was 36 minutes of work and it was just a good sweat, so. Every, every session that we're hitting, I feel like we're hitting it. Yeah, I feel, I feel like we're hitting good sessions. It's not as much as we would when we're at the gym, but we like we're getting, do it's different being in lockdown training at the moment. Like I can't stay as motivated for as long, but I can come in and do, a 35 minute workout and I'd be like, that was good. This the week nice. after Christmas, honestly, I just wanted, I came to the gym and I'd just, I'd quit every set. Not quit, but just like do it and I, I like, I just couldn't face doing the gym. I wouldn't even come into the gym. But now we've found a rhythm. We're probably only training a max an hour a day, but I feel like the intensity that we're doing is good. And write it on the board. Yeah. Hold yourself accountable. Hold yourself accountable. All right, the news. One of the most relatable and functional things I've seen Sam Briggs do in a while. That's pretty much me getting into bed after a long day sat on the couch and my legs have fallen asleep. Hola, bonjour. Uh, hola, bonjour. Hey, what's up? Oh, hola, mate. Another day, another dollar, another news video for you guys. A couple of things I want to talk around today, but first I'm going to start off with my friends. Oh, Fred. Joel Domit, you'll know him from these videos, you might also know him from the TV. He has a mental block around cleaning anything over 100 kilos, and he sent me a video the other day of him cleaning 105 from the hang, and I'm just proud of the man. Physically, he's been able to do it for the last 17 months, but um, mentally, he's just broke that barrier. <laughs> And two, Magic Mike, um, watch out. There may be a new guy on the block. Magic Mikey Steel. Got a ring to it. Oh, okay, goddamn. And second, I'm gonna talk about a couple of things that I'm excited for coming up to watch on Netflix, because by now, especially if you're in the UK, you've probably gone through most of it. Yup. Three days ago, Homeland season eight got dropped on Netflix. Jazz and I through the last couple of weeks have binged watched season one through season seven. Putting that into context, there's like 15 episodes a series, but between 45 minutes and one hour per episode. You do the maths. I mean, I don't need to say that I recommend the series, but I really recommend the series. It's one of those ones where each season just gets a little bit better. That's my hot thing to watch on Netflix. And two, I couldn't be more excited We've just had the confirmation that season three of Drive to Survive on Netflix is dropping March the 19th. Look, if you like the behind the scenes of the competitions that we did on this vlog, uh, it's nothing like that. Netflix have a giant budget, it's way better, and um, it's behind the scenes of the F1. Before I watched Drive to Survive on Netflix, I wasn't into F1, now I don't miss a race. That's how good it is. Saw this clip of Street Horner, the newest announced proven athlete, warming up his shoulders and pecs, and I put my thinking glasses on and went, kinda looks like a metal detector. Hey, 
Anyway. In challenge news, Matt Fraser dropped his first free workout challenge on YouTube. The workout itself, every two minutes, 30. 30 calorie row, 20 toes to bar, max dumbbell snatch. Rest one minute, four rounds. How many dumbbell snatch can you get? In the video, he gives us some tips. I did buckle my feet in for the last two rounds. So that saved me a bit of time. I remember to switch my grips to the back of my hands after the toe bar, so that saved me a second or two. So I was able to increase throughout, throughout all the rounds. And uh, it's one that you can try at home. 30 calorie row and 20 toes to bar in that 230 window. It's rough. Why are you crying? I'll give it a go in a couple of days when it's sunny outside. I'm not doing it in the rain. And two, a couple of weeks ago, Rogue Fitness gave us a challenge to bear hug a sandbag for as long as possible. The female weight was 150 pounds, the male weight was 200 pounds, which is, which is around 10 or 15 pounds heavier than I am, putting the male weight into context. Ow. Ow. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so... The winners have since been announced, and on the female side it was Taylor Williamson, holding on to a 150 pound sandbag for 19 minutes and four seconds. And on the male side, Nani Urik, bear hugged the sandbag for 12 minutes and 18 seconds. Well basically picked me up off the floor, added a 10 pound plate on top of my head and held me off the floor for 12 minutes and 18 seconds. That's some go in that. <laughs> that there was Jacob Hepner on holiday in Hawaii. 10 out of 10 for the dismount. 10 out of 10! And to finish off today, we're going to talk around the Josh Bridges fight. We've got a lot more news to talk about around the new regionals being announced, some of the game's contenders, programming, all that lot. That will come in the next couple of days. But the hot topic at the moment is the banter between Josh Bridges and Dave Castro around a boxing match. Now, last week on the Josh, Savannah, Matt podcast, Josh said that he'd signed a deal to fight someone, but he couldn't say who. This week on the podcast, he had an update on the situation. On your, on your, um, on anyone who you're gonna fight, Josh. Zero. Last week there was some, there was some mystery around it. There's no developments. Nothing we had a, uh, nothing I can share. Nothing I can share. We had. Oh, you were about to share something. You were about to share something. One guy we had, uh, we thought was gonna sign. He did not sign. That's it. So, so you had. Is that Dave or is that someone else? It's not Dave. So you've had two. You've had two. You've offered the fight to two people, and they both. They both have declined. declined. They both have declined. Some and yet there is some sort of talking still going on between you and Dave. Scared. Some might say they're scared. Basically, Dave Castro on Instagram has been talking big game towards Josh Bridges. However, it sounds like when he's gone to him with a contract, with the spa, exhibition, whatever you want to call it, Dave Castro is kind of... I mean... He's not Dave. <laughs> but there you have it team thank you for tuning in on today's video if you want to get one of these we don't quit t-shirts they're live at hustlemade.com along with a load of other products with up to 50 percent off sale so catch that before the open and i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have smash that like button it really does help the channel hit that subscribe button if you're new here and we'll be back with another video in a couple of days hope you have a good evening night morning day a good whatever you're doing miss you guys already we'll catch you in the next one